here. That is actually a surprise to me. I thought it would be Sandbox to do it. Of course, they chose the Maestro instead, which... Again, target bans are coming out, and we spoke about this earlier. Teams have been hiding stuff, going with the default, playing the same maps again and again, but they go their way. P4 is still creeping around, has not moved from the spot in the past 50 seconds plus, and here he might just get rewarded. A nice headshot onto Static, and he'll find himself inside of servers. Down he goes. For those of you wondering who Static is, he used to go by Sweet Black on the team ages ago. For those that are fans of Mantis FPS with long memories. So, oh no, <laughs> a bit of a miss from Harper as Nova blocks the flashbang. That's a wasted piece of secondary utility, but additionally wasted time. About five seconds burned off the clock there. Toxic Canister misses, and now with the safety of the bunks next to him, it's going to be a successful plant. Grenades going out, and there you have it. Bibu does some work with his gun in hand as well, but he's going to have more to do. Nova says, nope, that's all you get. Two kills, good enough. He knows that he's got somebody pinched right now, pushed down by the washer, and Static is waiting for them to walk on up. NB Taylor could get very aggressive, but there's somebody playing inside of that closet watching. That's P4 that you talked about earlier on. Have they been able to burn out those ADSs? That's the real question. Bibu decides to go after Static, and Static will winning that fight, but he doesn't win the follow-up. The shotgun is out by Cactus, but he's traded out. It's an all-out brawl. Only five seconds left, and it's P4 trapped in the closet. He's not getting out. Child driving the knife through his heart and tack on Oregon. Now, because of the fact that Thatcher is available, because of the fact that there are really no significant standard operator bans, nice play by Envy Taylor there down below to kill Cactus as we talked for just a second, but Bibu fires back. Bibu has been the bright spot so far for the team. He's allowed to persist for as long as he wants to. He's going to be in another engagement very quickly. Shile hears him coming a mile away. Off screen near the bomb site. Rise takes one down and static. Still an advantage for Sandbox, 3v2, half of the round to go. This is a great bomb side to play a 2 versus 3 downside because you have the Aruni gates on the doors, you have information at your disposal, you have frost traps for the vault ins, and the only places you can come from is Sandbox, but they oh. don't need to <laughs> enter the building. The nade from downtown finds Shenge, leaving Rise all alone. They got the bulletproof, they have the Aruni gates, but outside of that, Rise still has to find three headshots, or at the very least, three kills, and he finds none! Nova shuts it down, takes the round, that is four! Twice and laundry didn't work. Once, Vitality are gonna switch it up. The good news is with Oregon is that one could argue all four of the bomb sites are perfectly viable! Bibu gets shut down, four for four on the opening picks now for Sandbox. Yeah, and Oregon is always about the man advantage, so these opening kills, they matter even more than usual. The less defenders available, the less angles you can cover, but Ryan says he'll have none of that. Shuts down Static on the entry as well, evening back the man count of four A versus four. But the round is not over yet. A minute to go, and Cactus gets downed as well. Not sure from where, but it seems to be from his back, and he's behind. Sile has found its way inside of meeting quite aggressively. Shile can continue to push up. Watching that hatch for the drop, they've already cleared it's the bomb site, by the way. Yeah, they're in the middle of the bomb site in meeting. They can get that diffuser down whenever they want. I don't know where Nova is. Nice bait from Shile, but he doesn't get the full kill. It's Envy Taylor to claim Rise. Cactus is still down, but no! P4 is in! There's a blind spot exposed and exploited by P4. He and Shinka in the 2v2 with Diffuser surrendering on their part. Now they need to reclaim that Diffuser, which, as I said, ends up being in the lion's den. P4 has this shrewd angle, though. I don't know if they know that he's there. He swings out, so it's going to be Envy Taylor winning the fight for Sandbox. He showed up to play today. Heartbreak for... Some flashes tossed out by Static to see if there's any ADS's position over by Pillar. Rise gets the opening pick. What did I say? Vitality was going to get it, right? And then it's going to be a near flawless round for them. I might have been wrong, though, by the way, because Sandbox is keeping this close on this regard. Still an advantage for Vitality, but ha Harper's looking the wrong way. Bomb Harper with one right kill there. so far will need to get more, and he's going to get killed from the back. Okay, well, I said a near flawless round. They Seems a little bit lost there. <laughs> Looking for a big window execute in similar fashion as to before. Envy Taylor down below, shots one down, Static finds the other one to Rise. It's Rise and P4 off the board. White Stairs now will be taken in control from Static, most likely, as the execute comes through from Sandbox. Really well played by the entire team at this point. A grenade goes off as well. Bibu predicts it and manages to get out of the way in time. Whether he'll get aggressive on White oh, Stairs Bibu. or Big Window. He's up by the Big Window now, which is where the Fink has been playing of Nova with Harper not too far away. 
And out Bibu will go. And there he has it. Takes out Harper. Nobody's looking. He has backup with him of the Aruni. But he doesn't need Shinkit to move a muscle. Cactus gets in on the fun as well. Both teams standing at a 3v3. 30 seconds left. Diffuser down. No grenades remaining from either Static or Nova. So you cannot flush Bibu out of this spot unless you take White Stairs. But here's the curious thing. Static was over by White Stairs. But it's now fully rotated. Sights aligned over towards Attic. And all you need to do is look in the right direction. It's a bit messy, but it still works out in his favor. Bibu now swinging over the fences. They've got to find Cactus, who manages to take down one. Two seconds left. Static saves the day with his three kills. Charging toe with Wamai in just a second. Envy Taylor holding this down, and he wins the fight. He's doing exceptionally well today. 8-4 and four becomes 8-5, though, for him in his tally. And in the midst of the smoke, it's Shinka who's not long for this earth. Harper guns him down. Cactus engaging over towards the shield, but smartly. Good patience from Sandbox to not take this engagement. Rise now, what are you able to do against the Clash? This is what I said, you hold that numbers advantage, Shile's there to clean up on it. Playing around, knowing that there's one over towards Pill, huge round from Shile, and the pistol out, but Rise is there to knock away the Clash. Harper with the insurance kill, no bikini body strat available. Vitality with oh. all emphasis the white stairs, but look at Harper's position. Lion skin comes out, they know each other's whereabouts, goes to this this time around, gets shut down from the prone P4 on the floor. Two kills, Vitality. And there's another one on the roam now as well. A second opportunity for P4 to stat pad and should get it against the again. He's on the ground. What are we playing? Gold ranked here? Bibu is in. Envy Taylor with two big kills. Three big kills. Child's in on it as well. It's now Shinka in a 1v1. Vitality got the first pick, but it might not be for anything at all because Shile is in a 1v1 shootout. Shinka doesn't have access to that diffuser, needs to pick it up. Shile pushes, and the push wins! Sandbox takes the match, 7-1, and pick up three huge points. Gold